So I'm Paola Paulaza. I'm working at the uh, Helmholtz Center Munich uh, in the diabetes in the Institute for uh, Diabetes Research. So, and I would like to start my presentation with a question. Um, are the virus uh, triggers of type 1 diabetes? So, well, there are many investigations supporting an association uh, with uh, uh, type 1 diabetes and enteroviral infections. We know that there are, uh, that the viruses can infect beta cells uh, inducing a chronic state, uh, inflammatory state, accompanied by the activation of cellular pro processes that may compromise the beta cell uh, function and survival. That's why our objective was to investigate the presence or absence uh, of markers associated with viral infections, such as the enteroviral capsid protein, BP1, and double-stranded RNA, antiviral immune response proteins, such as MXA, PKR, and HLA, and infiltrating immune cells in the islets of non-diabetic, autoantibody positive, and type 1 diabetic um, organ donors. For that, um, we uh, carry out immunofluorescence and immunostochemistry uh, stainings of consecutive uh, tissue, uh, frozen tissue sections from cadaveric uh, organ donors. And summarizing my results, first of all, here, we found that HLA hyperexpression uh, is indeed a defining feature uh, in type 1 diabetes and occurs not only in the islet but also in the exocrine tissue as you can see in these um, heat maps of a type 1 comparing with a non-type non-diabetic uh, non uh, donor in A. In these donors here in figure 2 um, PP1 uh, positive uh, cells with a weak uh, like in B or strong uh, staining uh, were more uh, present uh, in these type 1 diabetic donors compared to the uh, uh, compared uh, to the non-diabetic where just two uh, cases uh, presented uh, a weak uh, BP1 positivity. Together with these findings here Together with these findings, uh, we also observed that the presence or the expression of two uh, antiviral immune uh, response markers was also much higher in type 1 diabetic donors uh, compared with the non-diabetic. Moreover, we wanted to know uh, whether these markers were present in the same uh, islets. And as we uh, use consecutive tissue sections, we could find uh, the same islets in all our samples. So you can see here, as you can see here in figure 5, where we use a color code for 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, markers to detect, um, to uh, mark in our pictures. And in these figures, uh, you can see the combination uh, analysis of all the markers per donor and also uh, per group of um, the combination of HLA, MXA, PKR, and double-stranded RNA expressed in percentage. And this analysis revealed that the expression um, or the, that in the islets of type 1 diabetic donors, um, the expression of one uh, of more marker was much higher than in the non-diabetic ones. Afterwards, we wanted uh, to, or we detected all the T cells uh, in in the whole tissue sections, and uh, what we and in this graph, each dot uh, represents the T cell density uh, per islet. And what we found here is that uh, in type one diabetic donors, the half of the donors have higher levels of T, T cell density, and we found just uh, a small population uh, of islets uh, with higher values uh, of T cell density. And finally, we wanted, uh, uh, taking into account the definition of insulitis, we separated those islets with six or more infiltrating uh, CD3 positive cells and uh, we uh, try to find uh, if these islets uh, were positive for any marker. And surprisingly, this analysis revealed that uh, around the 80% of the type 1 and autoantibody positive donors um, presented or were positive for one or more markers compared with just the 25% uh, found in the non-diabetics. So with this, all in all, 
we can conclude that first, HLA hyperexpression uh, could enhance the antigen presentation to the reactive T cells favoring uh, the beta cell recognition and destruction. And second, although no signs of acute infection, the presence of these markers together with the presence of the uh, viral protein seems to be frequently associated to type 1 diabetes. So this may indicate that we uh, might be encountering um, low level or persistent viral infection with or um, activation of antiviral immune uh, responses. And regarding the autoantibody positive donors, uh, although no uh, statistical differences were observed, we did observe a viral signature, but the screening of more donors are maybe needed to, to answer if the, um, this viral signature appears also early in the disease. So thank you. Thank you.